Hi, I'm Rob. You must just look back on that and cringe. I'm not actually going to sit on this, by the way. This, if you can see him, is Simba. Say hello, mate. He doesn't want to say hello right now. If this is your first time watching my channel, then hello and welcome. Hey, mate. If you've been around for a while, then welcome back. Especially after my last video, I must be <laughs> the first YouTuber in history to make a video asking people to unsubscribe from their channel. Oh no, dude, that just seems kind of stupid. So, thank you for sticking with me through that. You're kind of butchering my introduction here. Simon doesn't really get that this isn't his channel. By the way, if you are new to the channel, this is about as good as it gets, so I would lower your expectations now, and it will save a lot of disappointment in the future. Now, when you're a hugely successful YouTuber like me... What? You have something you want to say? You, of course, get invited to a lot of really sophisticated dinner parties with all your really successful friends. No, that's not right. Better. Perfect. Hang on, this is meant to be a sophisticated dinner party. That's got it. Now, when you're at these parties and people find out you're a YouTuber, the first thing they ask you is... How much do you make from that? Now, obviously, talking about money can be a little bit awkward, so let me try and play it down a little bit and tell them that it's absolutely shed loads. So much money! Oh, just two of them then. I mean, YouTube paid for this jumper. Yay, YouTube eight pound jumpers. YouTube paid for this toaster. Yay, YouTube toast. YouTube paid for this dog. Yay, YouTube dog. YouTube paid for this bin. Yeah, YouTube rubbish. YouTube paid for these oven glo- Actually, I think these are a present from my mum. YouTube paid for this weird thing that sits on the windowsill in the kitchen and I don't know what it does but I can't get rid of it just in case I need it one day. Yeah, YouTube weird thing. YouTube paid for these weeds in the garden. Yeah, YouTube weeds. YouTube paid for this house. Well, actually Lloyds Bank paid for most of it but YouTube means that I can tell them to stuff their mortgage in about 32 years, assuming that I don't miss any payments and the interest rate doesn't change. So yeah, it's just sick, sick YouTube dollar. Like I'm just swimming in ad revenue. I think last month I made about $90 on YouTube. Anyway, when the money conversation is out of the way, the second thing that people say to me is, I'd really like to start my own YouTube channel, but I think it's too late. And to that I would say, Yes, you are too late. Back off, I was here first. This is my thing, get to wide. This is my precious. Obviously that isn't really what I say, but they always come up with these reasons for thinking it's too late. Like, oh it's so saturated now or it's impossible to make money from YouTube after the adpocalypse. So let's deal with those objections in reverse order because someone got a B in GCSE maths and isn't afraid to use it. It is not impossible to make money on YouTube. This guy hey guys. made $16.5 million last year for having blue hair and playing games. Mm. And according to a questionably sourced and probably outdated article that I just googled, YouTube pays out five billion a year to content creators. Ooh, that's a lot of money. So yeah, you can make money on YouTube. The other objection is that it's too late because YouTube is too saturated. The definition of saturated is holding as much water or moisture as can be absorbed, thoroughly soaked. But look, YouTube is like bone dry. I see what you did there. Okay, maybe that's not quite the right definition. Fill it completely so that no more can be added. Last time I checked, YouTube hadn't started turning away people who wanted to create channels like some kind of Essex nightclub operating a one in one out policy. Yeah, there's loads of channels. I think there's over 20. Gross underestimation for comedic effect. And there might well be one that's similar to the one that you want to make, but that doesn't mean that you can't do it. If anything, if there is a channel that's kind of similar to the one that you want to make, that's good news because it probably means that there are people who want to watch that kind of stuff. PewDiePie is the biggest YouTuber in the world, right? I literally won't shut up until you subscribe to PewDiePie. That's right, I definitely deserve this. He makes kind of wacky gaming stuff. I've never felt so old saying that. Wacky gaming stuff. Playing on your Sanka there, are you boy? That was me trying to be a grandma. Do you think that PewDiePie was the first person to do that? No way. There were already thousands of people doing that before he started. The highest earning channel, according to Google, is Ryan Toys Review. That channel only started three years ago. The kid is eight years old. That's a you money when you're eight years old and you're making millions. Ninety dollars in the last month. Job. Again, it wasn't the first channel of its type at all. When I first started my channel, it was all about golf and my journey to get better. And there were loads and loads of channels doing pretty much that exact same thing, but it didn't mean that I couldn't make one. You don't need to be the first. Your channel will be different to any other channel out there that's covering the same kind of topics as yours. 
because it's your unique take on it. I mean, Facebook wasn't the first social network, but that does all right. Amazon wasn't the first online retailer, but they seem to be doing okay. Greg's wasn't even the first baker, but if he just said, oh, well, it's too late because there's another baker already, the world would have never got the majestic, fantastic brilliance that is a sausage and bean bake. I mean, look, YouTube wasn't even the first video sharing platform, and yet here we are. It doesn't matter if you're not the first. If you're amazing at making pizzas, you wouldn't say, well, I really want to open a pizza restaurant, but Papa John got there first, so I can't now. Even in your local town, there's probably more than one pizza place. Some people might prefer one, some people might prefer the other, but they can both survive. And the internet, YouTube, is a bit bigger than your local town. In fact, more and more people are watching YouTube. Another piece of poor research tells me that YouTube has that many users. How many is that? 1,300 million? 1.3 kisquillion. If you make brilliant stuff, there'll be people out there to watch it. And actually, it's even easier than it would be with pizza because not many people would go to one pizza restaurant and then go straight into the other one and have a meal in both. I, I would do that. Whereas on YouTube, people might well watch this other channel that's a little bit similar to yours and then go and watch yours straight away. I promise you, it's never too late. And that applies to not just YouTube channels, but anything in life. We're getting deep. There's loads of stuff you might wish you did 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 1,000 years ago, and you can't turn back time, but you can do it now. If you're always saying, oh, I wish I'd learned to swim or whatever, just go and do it now. Help! Help! I'm drowning! It's not too late to change your career, to start a new hobby, to move abroad, to meet a new partner. It's not too late to invent the light bulb. Oh, no, it is too late for that. So just do what you want to do and do it now, otherwise you'll be sat there in another thousand years wishing that you'd done it right now. According to this quote that I found on Google just now to make myself sound more intelligent and deep, regret for the things we did can be tempered by time. It is regret for things we did not do that is inconsolable. That's from a guy called Sidney J. Harris, who I'm sure you'll know was an American journalist for the Chicago Daily News and later the Chicago Sun-Times from the 1940s to late 1980s. He wrote 11 books and his weekly column was syndicated in over 200 newspapers. If you're under 20, newspapers were basically what people in the old times had instead of YouTube, so basically Sydney was making kind of vlogs and going viral on the regs. Thousands and thousands of people have completely transformed their lives by starting YouTube channels. It's made people millionaires, it's given people an outlet to share their message, it's enabled people to make a difference in their local community or society as a whole. I mean, I never used to sit at my dining table with a stuffed monkey and a cardboard box with a face drawn on it. So, you know, it's kind of changed my life as well. If you want to make a YouTube channel, just do it. What are you waiting for? Do it. Just do it. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Let me know in the little commentsy thing down below if you've got a YouTube channel or you've got an idea for one that you'd like to create. If you like the video, click the little thumbs upy thing. And if you didn't like it, click the little thumbs upy thing, but put a really grumpy face while you're doing it. Oh, and make sure you subscribe. I'm pretty sure that Christmas gets canceled if you don't.